these are some Dinar Guru updates starting off with Mountain Goat. From what I can see, it is now the Finance Committee that is lagging in support to give the CBI the green light. They feel they need three-year budget in place and voted on and passed. Earth News slash the Parliamentary Finance Committee confirmed on Monday that the resolution of the vote on the budget law by the House of Representatives will be this week. Parliament Speaker Mohammed Al-Habusi and Secretary General of the League of the Righteous Movement, Kais Kazali, stressed the need to pass the budget as soon as possible. I think they will pass it this week since this session ends this week and the members all want their break. All right, Militiaman says what we're waiting on is the budget to be passed, ratified, however you want to talk about it. Does it happen today? Something could happen just thereafter and or prior to getting it to the Gazette. There is a window there. I'm not saying I know how it's going to play out, but the nice part is there could be a rate before the budget gets exposed or B, at the same time, or C, within a short period of time because we know the budget doesn't work at 1310, so there's going to be some changes. All right, Pimpy says it looks like they finally might have agreed on a budget. Supposed to be voted on by today. We'll see. It looks like the Kurdistan De- Democratic part, the same group of people, they said they were going to pass the bill without. Not only were they able to pass the budget without them, but it looks like they got exactly what they wanted according to the articles. Let's see if they got anything accomplished. All right, Frank 26 says, everything you're seeing is evidence it's about to happen. You can't show me one thing that says it's not going to happen. Even if you approach me and say, hey, look, we don't have the budget. What do I say to you? Everything waits for the new exchange rate, even the budget. All right, Claire article quote, uh, quote, urgent. He revealed the reason for the postponement of the parliament session to eight in the evening, unquote. Another quote, quote, a deputy revealed the reason for postponing the House of Representatives session scheduled for Thursday to vote on the draft financial budget law from 1 p.m. to 8 p.m. Jawad al-Ghazali of the State of Law Block expressed his confidence in, quote, approving the budget this evening because Iraqi people need and are waiting for that, unquote. All right, Mark Zevia PDK says they are at this point expecting the vote to be at noon Eastern Standard Time. All eyes are on that one, but this is one of the last steps. I do not expect a rate in the budget, but there is a mechanism in the budget for them to change the rate. And I would not be surprised to see the new rate passed very close on the budget heels. Based on the chatter coming out of Iraq, this makes sense. All right, Mountain Goat uh, question. So what is thought to happen if the budget is voted and passed today? Mountain Goat says, what I believe is in the budget to make an important milestone that is needed for the process of the currency reform to move to its final stage, and that is the project to delete the zeros and then followed by the reinstatement on Forex. In the budget is the needed legislation for this effort as required by law and money in the budget needed to follow through with it by the CBI. Mountain Goat goes on to say, since we already know the Iraqi Finance Committee, IMF and U.S. has told us they would give us the green light to go ahead if this is completed. I really believe we may see the end to the RV saga very shortly, and I mean very shortly. I never thought I would predict this so soon, but we may see the rate we are looking for even next week. But that is dependent on the budget passing without interruption. All right, Nader from the Middle East says the budget has been passed. Congratulations on the budget has been passed. Now we're going to wait. What's in the budget? We'll see if it's anything good for everybody, for you guys and for Iraq. We'll see. All right, Sandy Ingram question. Uh, Did Iraq receive a warning from IMF and the World Bank? Here's what many of us did not know about Iraq's 23 budget. An article reported the International Monetary Fund. The World Bank and the United States warned Iraq about its 2023 budget. It seemed the budget is the largest ever in Iraq history. Here's the deal. I could not confirm the IMF, WB, nor United States disapproval of the budget. What I did confirm was the budget 
will run with a deficit of 48.7 billion US dollars, which is IQD 63.27 trillion. I also confirmed this was up from 19.9 billion or IQD 25.7 trillion in 2021 when the government was last presented a budget. So maybe the IMF WB said something. This is a huge increase for Iraq. All right, Mark Z via PDK said lots happening. Did it pass or didn't it pass? This is what I'm hearing from Iraq. This was explained to me from an international attorney. Think of it as a closing on a house and it happened late in the day. You sign all the paperwork, everyone's dotting I's, crossing T's and say it until 5.30 in the evening. You've done everything you need to do, but you have to wait until the clerk of courts is open the next day to hand off the paperwork and get a stamp on it. I am told that is where we are at on the budget. It's done, but it will not be official until their judicial system opens tomorrow morning, uh, which would be uh, this morning. This is from the 8th. It's done and passed, and we will get all the official news tomorrow, according to Mark Z. Militia Man says, with the urgency they have, what we're thinking is they is if they expose an exchange rate or the budget and sign off on it, you're going to see what the effects are because this is not just an operational budget. It's an investment budget. It's the first time ever for having a three-year budget, the most critical budget in the history of Iraq, and that's a fact. Frank 26, Firefly, says CBI is saying the banks are currently adopting a mechanism to enhance and promote the banking system and stability. Frank says the monetary reform education is just beautiful. Every day the education gets stronger, louder and louder, clearer and clearer. You think a program rate enhances stability for their currency? Of course not. All right, and lastly, Mark Z via PDK, member question. So what happens next? Mark Z's answers, as explained to me from folks over there in finance, they are waiting for markets to stabilize and they believe this could happen in short order. Is it hours? Is it days? Is it longer? We don't know. It may be 24 to 48 hours before we know. My understanding is with the passing of the budget, the U.S. government fingers will finally be out of Iraqi pocketbook. And once they get it legally stamped, they can move forward. I am hearing a lot from Reno and other areas that they have expectations of this thing moving forward over the next 24 hours or so. I am hopeful as well.